expansion. No airport expansion. No airport expansion. I'm Sally Pavey, I'm chair of Cagney. The open hearings of the new runway application by Gatwick Airport where the government planning officials will look at the evidence to see if they grant a new runway to be built at Gatwick Airport. Yes, and you've got a great turnout here from the South Cagney and um, Extension Rebellion. Rebellion. How pleased are you with the turnout of the protest? It's, it's wonderful to see so many people feel so passionately about that this is the wrong development for this area, for the whole of the South East. Yeah, and why is it so wrong for the area, do you think? At the moment we face them really unsustainable areas. We've got people fighting housing, we've got people protesting at everything. The lack of hospitals, the lack of healthcare, the lack of schools, and most importantly, the lack of affordable housing. Where are all these 14,000 workers going to live and how are they going to get there? They're going to come by road. It's just not sustainable. This makes Gatwick, if this is granted, this will make Gatwick as big as Heathrow is today. And we all know what a nightmare Heathrow is. So it's just not sustainable, you know, the air quality, and even if you don't believe in climate change, you know, really we've all seen what's happening, you know, the, the, the changes of the weather patterns, we have to understand that a major pollutant such as Gatwick Airport shouldn't be allowed to expand by 101,000 flights a year. We're really lucky that through crowdfunding and the very generous residents we've been able to afford a team of experts and so we will be here every day voicing the concerns of residents of Sussex, Surrey and Kent as well as what it will do to the planet. This expansion is going to deliver more flights, that's going to be more jobs, that's good for the economy, it's good for workers. Well, our group is saying, actually, we're aviation workers and we think expansion at this time during a climate crisis is crazy. It's not a good economic investment. We're not going to be able to have these flights in the future. We're going to waste all of our money and all of our time doing something that's in the name of workers but isn't going to benefit us at all. We want a, a, a future where we can still travel, we can still visit some of the destinations we love to visit, and not completely destroy it and, and ruin it for future generations or even just us in 10 years time. So we are here, we are objecting to the expansion. We think that rather than expand, the airport should be looking to transition, transform itself to a low carbon alternative. A totally different aircraft, fly slower with less emissions and would require a completely different airport and runway than what's being uh, proposed here. When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The transition! When do we want it? Now! Thank you all for coming this morning. I think this is a really important day to show on the first day of this six month planning inquiry that this is not the way we need to go. This is not the future for Gatwick. What Gatwick wants to do is to make this airport as big as Heathrow Airport with 80 million passengers a year. Heathrow is the largest single climate emitter in the UK. Gatwick say they can be the largest single climate emitter in the UK, but yet their planning application says that their climate impact is insignificant. That is not the case. As you all know, that is greenwash at the highest order. Um, you know, I actually... I, I fell in love with aviation by going to Southend Air Show as a kid and, and that smell of jet fuel I used to absolutely love and, and now as I approach the airport within, within sort of a five mile radius of the airport I can smell that toxic kerosene and, and the visceral re reaction that I have now to that smell compared to like that childhood delight of watching the air shows is, is palpable and the reality is now I know that that, that air is toxic one in five people globally now die prematurely due to fossil fuels. And ultimately, I, my parents, you know, I'm from a working class family, my parents uh, and my grandma helped me out and it cost 130,000 pounds to be a pilot. My dad was a builder and I'm still in 80,000 pounds worth of flight training debt. To be honest, I'd much rather be flying the planes right now and, and I wish the climate crisis wasn't here, but it is. And, 
as aviation workers, we're trained to think free from bias, to mitigate risk, to preserve life. So we, you know, I, I urge anyone who's watching this, if you're an aviation worker, then to please come and, and check out Safe Landing. Ultimately, we believe that if we continue to expand aviation, then we're going to see a much bigger crash of the job market than what we witnessed during the pandemic. Uh, it's either coming through climate breakdown or it's going to be enforced regulations once the science uh, catches up with the politics or the politics catch up with the science. Big enough! Big enough! Cat. can't be sustained within this area. It's not just the pollution and everything else. So that's the first thing is that we've, it's going to take 10, 15 years to recover from what this government's done to local government, to all sorts of other needs that need to be put in place. And so the ability to actually put the infrastructure in place just won't be there. The developers will put the second runway in and run away and leave us with the mess. Yeah. And secondly, I'm so heartened to hear so many people who work at Gatwick are dependent on it, as the whole of Crawley is in many respects. Although we realised after COVID we need to diversify and not put all our eggs in that one basket up the road, nevertheless it's heartening to hear so many people who work at Gatwick and want it to survive and thrive to realise that like so many projects, developers make their profit and run away, they've overexpanded the capacity of whatever it was they provided, then it collapses and the whole thing goes to pot. So I'm really heartened to hear the Brady people here who work at Gatwick and dependent on it, realise we're better off where we are now and not having that expansion.